Hello friends, this video on Vector Algebra Part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched Part 1 to Part 3. Now we'll learn something about directions. So what are direction angles and direction cosine? So if alpha, beta and gamma are the angles made by the vector with x, y, z and z axis, then these angles are called direction angles. And the cos of these values are direction cosines. For example, this is my vector. With respect to x, this guy is making, let's suppose, alpha. With respect to y, this guy is beta. And with respect to z, this is gamma. Because I have some vector, it will make some angles with x, y, and z axis. Right? So, alpha, beta, and gamma are called direction angles which are not much used the much used are the cosine of this that is cos alpha cos beta and cos gamma correct this is what we use more and these are also represented by l m and n l you say is cos alpha m is cos beta and n is cos gamma. Correct. So direction angle is nothing but the angle which is made by this vector with respect to x, y and z axis and the direction cosines are nothing but cos of this angles. So, so we have a theorem or something to prove that L square plus m square plus n square is going to 1 or cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is equal This is a standard formula we use a lot of places. We will tell you how to prove it. So if you see, let's suppose this guy is r actually. The length is r, right? The length is r. So if my r, my r vector, I can write as actually birth this the length r right cos alpha i plus r cos beta i plus again r cos gamma i and there's nothing but x i plus y j plus i see both are same actually so i'm writing r vector as x i plus y j plus z k vector right and having i this is j actually this is k both are same both are same representation of same vector why if this is my r vector i want to find the b component of this vector how much it is influencing uh, y axis let's suppose so what i'll do I'll find the angle between this guy and y axis and find the cos of this. So this is R, this is a right triangle, R cos beta is this one, right? Because this guy is influencing y axis still here and this point is R cos beta. And this is y actually, small y. Similarly, with z if you see, this guy is z and this guy is gamma this guy is r cos gamma so what we see is x is r cos alpha y is r cos beta and z is r cos alpha to get this you can logically see also this length is y this angle is B and this is R. You take R cos beta, you get Y. You take R cos gamma, you get Z. And same thing when you take R cos alpha, you get something X. So you can get this in this fashion also. Or this R vector equation I can write as r cos alpha i plus r cos beta i plus r cos gamma j sorry r cos alpha i plus r cos beta j and r cos gamma k 
I can also write this guy as xi plus yj plus zk. If you compare these two equations, you get these three equations. Compare i component, compare y and compare this. Right? We don't understand these part limit. Just by logical, logical thinking also and by seeing this diagram, I, can, I got three equations. R cos alpha is x, R cos beta is equal to y and R cos gamma is equal to z. Correct. Till now I know one relation that is x square plus y square plus z square is equal to r. Correct. So let's find x square plus y square plus z square. So x square plus y square plus z square is equal to r square cos square alpha that is x square plus r square cos square beta y square and r square cos square z square. You take r square common into cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma. And this guy I know x square plus y square plus z square is equal to r square. So this guy is r square into 1. r square into 1 is r square. That means this whole thing is equal to 1. Therefore, cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is equal to and that is what I was supposed to do. So till now, please note we have two equations. One is if my point P is x, y, z, x square plus y square plus z square is equal to r square, correct? R is the length of this and when you talk about direction cosines cos square alpha cos square beta plus cos square gamma is equal to 1. Some of the squares of direction cosine is 1. Correct? And cos alpha is L cos beta is M and cos gamma is N. They are just representation. As I told, cos alpha we call L, cos beta we call M, and cos gamma we call N. Where alpha, beta and gamma are ang uh, angle with respect to x axis, y axis and z axis for a given vector. So these are the conventions we use. Correct? So till now what we know? We know what is position vector. We have some vector in the space. We know how to write that in the vector form. So if x, y and z are coordinates of those vectors, we can write that as x, i plus y, z plus z, k. That is one form. Also if I know the angles, I don't know the x, y and z thing. I know the angles that the vector made with respect to x, y and z axis. Then I can write the same vector as x cos alpha i, or sorry r cos alpha i where r is the the length of the vector, magnitude of vector, plus r cos beta z, plus r cos gamma k cap. Both are the representation of the same vector. These much things we know. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.